This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Which law? Are you the tabernacle? Are you the this is the book of Psalm, Psalm. chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. When we, when we, when we said that earlier, I agree with it, right? I, I've been knowing that. Okay, so but when was it said first? Go back to Kevin. Go back to Kevin. That's what it said. Oh, you are children. And they want the most hard You don't believe it. I know that you don't you believe it. I know it. You believe it. I know it. I walk in the God. I walk in the Israelites. We are children of the most hard. Right? We are the children of the most high. Me. Amen. I say, but he shall die. You just can't like get you. Hey, brother, I want to ask you a question. Why don't we die like men? I'm not Why dying. Die like men? I'm not. In your crown of Christian, I'm not. Christ. You're going to die That's like what your man. book says. I'm not keeping God's law. How? 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 Let me show you. Tell me how I'm not keeping God's law. Give me what God is talking about. What day is today? Are you talking about Moses? What are you talking about Osiris? What day is today? Are you talking about Osiris? What day is today? What day is today? What's your God saying? Give me that. Are you talking about Jehovah? It's just been in verse 8. I'm going to show you God's game. I got it. I'm going to show you. I ain't got no book. I'm going to be talking about the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Remember the seventh day. Why did God say we're supposed to remember that day? Because we forgot it. God didn't say anything. We forgot that. God didn't say anything. God said nothing there. Read verse one. For our and God spake. Read verse one. Read. And God spake. All these oh, things God spake. Your slave master chapter 20 and verse 4. Where is this God? And God spake. And who is he? And who is he? And who is he? And God spake. What is he? And God spake. Read all these words. And say, I am the Lord, thy God. I am who? I am the Lord, thy God. Read. And I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. That's the God we serve. The God that brought the children out of the land of Egypt. Read historically. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Brother, brother, where are the Israelites in captivity in Egypt? This brother right here. You see this brother here? This brother here is coming up here to confuse our people. They don't like that. The prophets are on this earth today. Right. So God's still in the way, brother. Read it again. Verse 8. Go to verse 8. God, Exodus God, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. This brother ain't keeping no laws. You come up here arguing with men of the Lord. You're not keeping no laws. Right. All right. The today is the Lord's day, the Sabbath day. What are you supposed to be doing on the Sabbath? You don't know who wrote that. Read. You don't to know keep it holy. The Bible says to keep it holy. What does it mean to be holy, brother? To keep it holy. What does it mean? Holy. What does the word holy mean? 
Come on, you know, now, okay, let's, wait, let's break down that word. You ask me the a question. Define define itself. You ask me a question. Okay, go ahead. Give me the answer. The word whole. Give me those 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Whole. Okay, we're going to Only. For the whole day, do what you're supposed to do, not to work. If that's okay, what you're talking about, that's the definition. I'm going to show you some things you're supposed to be doing on the Lord's Day. Every day is the Lord's Day, man. What are you talking about? This is the book of Leviticus. Every day is the day of life. Listen to this. You in religion, you bro. Holy, you you in Can you let me respond? Re no, Mr. religion has you in bondage, bro. Read it again, brother. Read it strong. Oh, have mercy. And ye shall be holy. And shall be what? Holy. Right. Unto me. God said, we, his children, are going to be holy unto him. The blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Read. God, that For you know. I, the Lord, am holy. God said, he is holy. Let's see what. Let's see what holy is. Are you lifted up? Read. And how severed you. I've done what? Have severed you. Brother, what does it mean to sever? Do you know what it means to be to sever something? To what? Sever. To cut it away from. Okay, great. Read. And have severed you from other people. That's why you're holy, because God took you and separated you from all the other nations. That's what holy means. Means separate. That's why today. Go back to the Exodus point again. Go back again. Read, read verse eight. You saying my people are like this because they didn't keep the Sabbath. They didn't keep all the laws, Sabbath and commandments. The other nations, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother, 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 if you want to have a conversation, you got to allow me to respond, you can't be giving me a bunch of points and don't wait for me to respond, go ahead, okay, you said what, you said that, that means the other nations, is what you mean, or the other people, first off, you talk, you, you're saying to me, yeah. ain't God, ain't God, said something, you're not telling me God, you're not telling me what the history of God is. You just said, and God, I do stuff. If I were a 10 year old child, and I went to the library and I opened up the book and said, Who is God? How many gods do you think I'd find? Brother, I'm going to tell you about the God that we teach, the God of Abraham of Israel. God of the 12 tribes of Israel, the right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. That's the only God that we're coming out here no, teaching, brother. Right. All right? The other God. gods that we are... Listen, bro brother, brother, you have... get, brother, let me respond. You, brother, come on, man. Let me respond. Listen. The other gods that we have to deal with, because we don't know our true God, are this God, these gods. All right? White man Jesus is not our God. Right. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of. You understand that, brother? All right, listen. Give me the Exodus 6 and verse 3. Let me show you the God we serve, brother. All right? The God we serve is the God our forefathers serve. You know who our forefathers are? God, right? Huh? You're that God, right? Brother, what did the Bible just say? You're God, right? Brother, what did the Bible just say? Yes, we are the sons of God, brother. Right. We are sons of a God, the true and living God, so we are gods also. You're not your dad. Right, read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 6 and verse 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. This is the most I God speaking, brother. Read. By the name of God Almighty. That's the God we serve. Read. But... By my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. You understand that, brother? So God have different titles. God is a title. You understand that? What is most important of the God that we serve is that we keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Psalms 138 and verse 2. Yes, yes it is. I'm going to read it. I'm going to prove it to you. Hey, brother, Bro brother, that is you being a God. That is you also being a God. That is an action of a God. Um, yes, it is. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 138 and verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple. You know the prophet David, brother, that's our forefather. The prophet David, King David. All right, cool. This is, this is our forefather. This is what he said. Read. Yes. And praise thy name for thy, for thy love and kindness. You see that, brother? We are supposed to be kind to our brothers. That's what we're coming out here to teach our people, how to be kind to each other. No, I'm not saying that, but you're trying to put, you're, you're trying to bring me in. You cannot correct the Bible, brother. The Bible is the truth. Read. And for thy truth. 
For thou hast magnified thy word above all the name. That's why I was coming to teach our people God's laws. Because God's laws have to be above anything else. Do you understand that, brother? What you're saying is, is adolescent. Brother, you're talking I'm about you, simple. You're talking about ten attributes that someone coined and then you went one of them twice with me only nine of them there. That's common sense. It's common sense not to steal. It's common sense not to go with that man. So let me ask you this, brother. So how come it's people stealing if it's common sense? Not to steal. Bring it out. Brother, how is it not? You, you made a statement. I'm trying to get you to give me the understanding. How is it not common sense for some people to steal? Some people say, some people think it's a way of life to steal. So hey, give me an example. Of what you, what doctrine you have, or what knowledge you have to stop your brother from stealing. Look, okay, what is love according to the Bible? Give me that, first John 5. What is love according to the Bible? Bring it up! Yeah. Well, brother, why are you here? Why are you here? You're not here for the Bible. You're not here for the Bible. You're not here for the people. No, you're not here for your people. Wait, brother, brother, back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. You're getting emotional. Back up a little bit. Listen, if you're not here for the Bible, you're not here for the Bible. No, brother, you're not here for me. Let me show you how you could be here for me. Give me first of all, you can be here for me. Brother, let me show you how you could be here for me. You don't want to go out and find out that we have been achieved. You want to be in a club. You've been taught to be in a club. Just like your football team. Just like your basketball team, just like your hockey team, you don't want to accept it when we let go of all this BS and we put put the Bible down, put the Quran down and touch me. Can you touch me? Can you touch me? Touch me. Can you back up? This is love, bro. Can you love me? Yo, I just the teacher, brother. All right, brother, you talk, you're talking to me. Can you touch me? Let me share. Brother, 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 brother. Give me, give me a pound, brother. Give me a pound. And there you go. Listen, let me show you how, brother. I don't need that book. I'm answer, but you want to lost Listen, you don't need that book, brother. Brother, bondage, which is this book did not put our people in bondage. Sin put our people in bondage. No. Yes, brother. White people, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Stop trying to be hey, listen, 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 listen. You need to Who calm can, down. White people hate calm us. Calm down, brother. White people don't give a damn brother, about that brother, book. They gave you this, brother. Brother, 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 calm down. Hey, White listen, people what's your name again? gave you this. What's yes, your name? My name is Benaya. What's your yes, name? Yes, he is my what's name. What's your name? Yes, he. Yes, he. Uh, listen, yes, yes he. He. Let me show you how I was taught to look. Yes, yes, brother, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Brother, let me answer your question. You want to know how? Answer, you want to know I know I love you? Listen to this. Read verse 2. First John chapter 5 yeah, verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. Brother, brother, that's all I would steal from you. That's all I would sleep with your wife. Because God's law is not supposed to do. Brother, this is why our condition is the way it is. Because we do not know how to keep God's laws. We don't have it in our mind. We're destroyed because we do not. Brother, I know. I know because you know what? This Bible changed my life. I don't know what you're talking about. This Bible changed my life. I keep the Sabbath. But I had somebody come with an emergency to me. Right. They said we needed to do something. Right. Am I supposed to be and not to the emergency? Brother. Brother. If you if you're looking out for your brother, you're helping your brother. That's good. Let me tell you the history. Brother, brother, brother. Let's brother. Yes. May I? Give me, give me your history. Let me see what the Bible says. Give me your history. Yeah. What the gods did was work man constantly. Constantly. And Andrew looked down. I'm just telling you the 20 or 4 story. You might not have heard But that has nothing to do with the Bible. You're telling me something that has nothing to do with the Bible. First of all, you're saying the gods. Listen, there's only one true God. You understand that?
see this, brother? Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy 32, 30, 39. 32, 39. Give me that. 32, 39. Give me that. Brother, you're talking about so has nothing to do with the Bible. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Hear that? The God of all people, the God of Israel, there is no God but him, all right? Read. You out here trying to I kill. I do what? I kill. And what? And I make a lie. So if you don't believe in the God of this Bible, you're going to die like a man. All right? You're going to die like men. Under the melanating people together. Yeah, man. We're going to throw away all these books. And we're going to get to the ground. If you want to destroy the book, go to Barnes and Noble, go to the printing press, and you burn down the book. This one, that's what you do. Go to the printing presses, and you destroy them. That's the only way you're going to stop this word from going out. You're not going to uplift me with foolishness. Give me Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Foolishness. Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Who wrote the Bible? 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 This is the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Bible? That we have the Bible that our forefathers wrote Listen. by the inspiration of the Most High God and Christ. Oh, what? What is what slavery Robert, came from? Is there an aspiration of the love of God? Yes. God. Read. Much. Everyone understand. When we keep the Sabbath day, we can destroy the economy of the other nation right. by keeping one law. That right. states we shall not buy nor sell on the Sabbath day. We can destroy the economy right. by keeping one law. We can fix family household by keeping one law of yes, marriage. This Bible gives us advantage. Read. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. We were given this Bible as a heritage, as guidance to keep us in the right mind. Read. For what if some did not believe? Like these brothers that came up. What if something not believe? Shall that take away from what we bring out? Read. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? No. Read. God forbid. Oh. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Understand, man is going to lie. Man is going to come up with their own doctrine. I thought you said you are going to defend your faith, but guess what? The Bible says in Proverbs, the, the wicked flee when no man chasing them. Right. You understand what we bring out here, my brother? Right here showing our people who we are and our greatness according to what the Bible that our forefathers wrote and God prophesied would happen. What's your nationality, brother? Black. You're black. Okay. I'm going to tone it down a little bit because the confusion is gone. All right? So we deal peacefully. So black is simply a color. My pants are black. Indigenous. Indigenous. Indigenous to what? To, to, uh, to this land mass? <laughs> You're indigenous to this land mass? Your forefathers, foremothers were the brought over your slave ships? What do you think? Uh, Would you say your forefathers, foremothers, were they a product of the slave trade? Yeah. You say Geechee out of North Carolina? North Carolina. Out of Carolina. So more than likely they were brought over your slave ships, right? Okay, okay. So guess what? Did you know that that was actually written in the Bible? That our forefathers would be brought over here on slave ships for a reason that our people are saying to them, breaking God's laws? Did you know that? Get them for you. Got it? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses 
shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What I left out, I'm going to go back to him real fast, give me Deuteronomy 101. I'm going to show you that we made an agreement, a covenant, a contract. You work? You got a job? You work? You got a contract? You work? Okay, so there's an agreement. You made an agreement. You said, all right, I will do work for you. You're going to pay me if I do the work. As uh, requirements of that contract, you have to do what? Time, you got to perform certain metrics, you got to you know, got to do certain things. If so, you will get the payment agreed upon, correct? But if you're not, you might get uh, a write up. They might say, hey, you might get three write ups, and if you get three write ups, you get fired, right? You got 90 day probation, stuff of that nature. There's stipulations within that agreement for you to be employed there. All right. What, we're, what this Bible is, is the history of the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the agreement contract that we made with the Most High God that made everything that we see on the earth. The trees, the birds, the earth itself, the sun, moon, and stars. That God that made all those things made a contract with us, with our forefathers, right? Let's read that. Deuteronomy 101. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. On. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So these are the words that Moses spoke with all of Israel. If you read the Bible and understand, Israel was the father of uh, 12 sons and a daughter. He had 12 sons and they became the nation of Israel today. Right? That's what's known as Israel, right? From Judah, Benjamin, Levi, come on down. You see something? Come close, ain't nobody heard you. Good. Judah? Okay, I'll work. So Judah is what God calls you, America calls you American life, right? So you would be an Israelite according to the Bible, but I'm going to prove that point further on, right? So again, these be the words that Moses spoke with all the children of Israel on this side of Jordan. Drop that, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, and give me the last verse, right? So when you read chapter 27, I mean, sorry, uh, Deuteronomy 27, right? Last verse. 27, last verse. 27, the last verse. When you go through that, you're going to find that we made an agreement while our forefathers made an agreement, that would be a legacy blessing or a legacy curse, meaning an ongoing blessing or an ongoing curse. If we kept it, we broke it. All right, go read. That's it, uh, my brother. Again, what we're bringing out is we made an agreement with the Father, who we understand as the Most High God that made heaven, earth, and everything else. And now we're going to go over that contract to see if we're in line with the contract or we're breaking that contract. You understand? Know Read. Deuteronomy 27 and verse 26. Come on. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. So we made that agreement. It said, Cursed be every man that don't walk with all the laws that were stated of that agreement. And everybody said, What? Amen. Meaning true. We agree. Right? So that was a contract. Now he's going to go into the contract. Give me 28 and verse 15 again. You run me 28 and verse 15. Hey, big man, come over here. Hear this word real fast. Yeah. That, come, come check this out. Get a flight. Ring. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen to the contract that we made to observe everything that was said in that contract, read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. So if we don't agree to do everything that was written in there, read on. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he's listening. The curse part of the agreement. Like we said before, if you got a job, you made a contract, hey, I'm going to work for you for X amount of pay. I might get benefits, I might get health care, I might get uh, 401k, whatever. Those are the blessings of working there. If not, the curse is going to come in where I get a write-up, I got 90 day probation, uh, I might get demoted, I might lose my job. That's the final act of that curse of losing when I keep it up the end of the agreement. Bring it make up. sense? Does that make sense? That makes sense with you? All right. So that's what we did. We made an agreement with the Father to keep his laws, and if we do it, we would be blessed. Read that part, go over the 28 and 1. We will be blessed, meaning we will be above everybody else. That will be the profit of keeping these laws, past commandments. And then the curses are what you see today. Go over it, read. Deuteronomy 28, this is the blessing part, read. 28 and verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe 
and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. I'm sorry. So God will set us on high above all nations on the earth if we did what? Anybody pay attention? If we did what? He will set us above. He'll obey our God. Obey. If we obey what? All the commandments. You got that, right? If we obey all the commandments, he will set us above all nations on the earth. Read on. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says all these blessings will come upon us and overtake us. Like in the churches, you may have heard it said one point in time, the Lord will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have, that you won't be able to receive it. Right? I know they took it out of context, but the point I want off of it is, you would be, we would be blessed as a nation that yeah, we wouldn't even be able to, uh, be able to manage all the blessings that come upon this country so much. Man, this is great, right? If we kept his laws and his statutes and his commandments. But if we didn't, there's a flip side. Any contract has two sides, the pros and the cons. Give me 2015 again, 2015. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So, there is a covenant or contract we made with the Father, and now we have to keep our side. If not, if not the curse is going to come upon us. If you look at our community today, anywhere where the predominantly blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are, you're going to find that we're at the bottom of society. Right. Why? Like, we're oh, we broke the laws of God. Now we're at the bottom. Right. Those curses are now coming into effect. Right. If not, we would be where the so-called whites and Chinese, they have military, they have great economy, they got their own currency, they got oil, gas, food, resources. They have gold, all these things. All the other nations have these. We as a people do not. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.